Ah, the sad and lonely washing machine, sitting in the driveway all alone because it is full of water and it's too heavy that we couldn't load it on the trailer. So I've got to try and take it apart enough to drain the water out. All right, first thing I want to get this back piece off, which is held in by a bunch of these um, hex head bolts. And it looks like this one has to come off first. And for this one to come up, well, it has to be loosened first anyway. I might be able to get this out without having to take off the top part, but we'll see. And for a happy bit of secondarity, secondarity. <laughs> Let's try that again. And for a handy bit of serendipity, uh, these happen to have quarter inch hex heads, which is the exact size of one of these. So yay. And with the top off, uh, can I get a look inside? I still need to take these off. Probably don't need to take that off, but we'll see. Um, you know, there's not a lot accessible from up here. We do have what looks like to be a control module over there, because you know it goes to all the front panel controls. This looks to be the plumbing. Oh, that's the uh, the mixer for all of the. Um, the mixer and the, the oh, what is that? There are two solenoids on the cold line and one on the hot line, so that's interesting. Looks like there's the potential for another one here that is broken off. Ah, uh, and this, I don't know, this appears to be a vent of some kind. And this is the drain on this side. Okay. So now I'm going to take this off and see if we can't get the rest of this back off. This is all stuff we really don't want. Nice motor. <laughs> yeah, sloshy, sloshy, sloshy. So how? we drain this. Uh, I wonder if we can get that boot off. Because I'll bet that that is full of water. And that there's a solenoid valve back there that's the drain valve. Uh, you, you can probably see it back way back in there. So uh, let me go get some pliers and I'll see if I can get that off and probably get wet in the process. It's invading.
Okay, well that seems to have released the water. So now I'm going to let this drain and uh, come back to it and put it together, put it back together later so that we can try and load it in and haul it away. Yay! Something else I noticed way up there taped on the inside of the front of this machine is a bundle of papers and I'm guessing that is probably some service information uh, although I really don't know I just find it interesting that it's in such a uh, such a bad badly approachable space and how am I supposed to get to that I have to take the front off well, I suppose I've already taken the back off so anyway I just pulled this out of the uh, drain hose I suspect now I know why it wasn't draining oh and this was stuck in it too it looked like a dirt popsicle and looking at it I believe that is actually the drain pump because that looks like a little motor down there on the bottom part and I'll bet that's what it is you know I bet this thing will work if I put it back together again because that was a problem as it wasn't draining hmm all right need to get that off <clears throat> and of course tricky there are three more underneath here holding the bottom part on oh this does not smell good And now we have access to the drain pump and this uh, filter housing, or not filter, but I guess manifold. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, change. And there's a lime deposit in the back. It's just not coming out. Weesh. You can kind of see it here. This is all lime deposit. It's hard. And that is... It's a solid chunk. Put loop back on. Awkward angle to get to. This is cement. This counterweight in here. This is why washers are so heavy.
All right, now if this impeller works, this should have fixed the problem, and we'll have a working washer again. I hope. I have a slight feeling there's something inside the car. Because the wasps, for some reason, they like the car. Huh. So I'm worried there might be like one trapped in there. I see. So this wheel back here spins, which in turn makes this spin, uh -huh. which in turn makes that down there spin. Yeah, there's a uh, there's a stainless steel uh, tub inside there that's got all the poles and stuff in it. So the water fills up this outer drum. And when this spins, and when that spins, it tumbles the clothes around. Yeah, tumbles them around. Gets the water from in there into there. Want me to kick this wood out? Yes, please. Rude. So it's back together, quite a bit cleaner than it was, and uh, we're going to try and move it over and hook it up to the garden hose and make sure that it's, or see if it's working anyway, if that impeller still works. We'll try and run it through a, a drain and spin cycle, or rinse and spin. So we've got it hooked up to the, uh, it works. the garden hose. Well, let's wait until it tries to drain. Because this part wasn't the issue. Ah, it was the draining. Yes. Wait, where's it gonna drain? Over here. And I missed capturing it, but uh, according to Tyson, it works. Mm -hmm. So, washer's fixed. You can see it. Well, you know, there was... Oh, yeah, I guess it did pretty good. Flow was pretty good. Oh, yeah. It went from the nozzle to about the... Dang. Yeah, Okay. Well, that's a good sign.